Hey everyone, Moonlight Rips here. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, check in, um, I appreciate you guys checking out this video. Uh, today I'm going to get into this 2024 Topps Heritage Hobby Box. Um, I want to get a shout out to my wife. That was very awesome. She was able to pre-order this for me. So I love you wife. That was very awesome for pre-ordering this box for me. There's Garrett Cole in the front. Um, I have ripped some um, hangers and values. Didn't do so well. So maybe we'll try... Um, this hobby and I have some blasters to get into maybe we'll get into monsters later on um, so I wasn't able to do Saturday's rip um, time kind of got away from me so I wasn't able to do a Saturday rip so I'm here Sunday to do a rip for you guys so um, without further ado let's get into this guy Hey everyone, Moonlight Rips here. Um, let's get into this Topps 2024 Heritage Hobby Box. Uh, I'm so excited to rip this for you guys. Uh, it says 500 total cards to collect. I believe um, there are 24 packs, 9 cards per pack. Um, I know short prints are 1 to 100. There's Garrett Cole in the front. Um, I know they're doing the 1975 design. There's no odds on the box. That's what the box looks like. I do like the look of the box. 24 packs, 9 cards per pack. Um, Scarecrow. Cole. I do like the look of the design. Um, so hopefully we will do good with this hobby box. Hopefully we get an auto. A nice hit would be awesome. Love to get a nice Ellie hit or a nice auto. Um, so excited to get into this for you guys. Um, so yeah, we will do... Uh, I might do three um, stacks, definitely rookies over here, then we might do inserts and then, or hits and then inserts. So inserts, hits, and then rookies over here. I might just do, um, yeah, I might just do that. So you guys can get a look at the inserts and then look at the rookies, the stack of rookies and then the hits. So we are guaranteed one auto relic per hobby box. Um, I do like the design of it. I, I have ripped it. If you haven't already, check out that video. I like the color of the design. I was unfortunate I wasn't able to hit anything out of the value or hangers, but that's a chance you take. Usually that format isn't the best. I, I always seem to have the best luck with um, Hobby or Megas. Blasters have been pretty good um, to me in the past. So I'm so excited to get into this for you guys. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this, guys. Um, I think we're guaranteed one box topper as well, so hopefully we can get something good. Hopefully I can pull a nice hit for you guys. I'll give you guys a first look at the hobby box. Um, it is a fun set to collect. Um, so let's see what our hopefully something good. Dun, 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 dun. What do we got? Uh, we got a Tom Bradley. It is one of those um, actual 1975 cards. As you can see it is stamped there, the 50th anniversary. You can see it, yeah, tops. It is from 1975, I believe. There's the year right there. That's crazy. Wow. Thomas William Bradley is our box topper. So that is that. So put that. I don't know if I'm gonna sleeve that yet. So we'll put that off as the um we'll put that in the hit pile so we'll probably put inserts here and then hits and then rookies over there so without further ado guys let's get into this i don't know if i can yeah let me get this box going we'll just kind of go right into the packs this might take a sec once i get this um perforated done and then i will get with you guys i'll be with you guys in just momentarily get this and then we will get into this hobby box hopefully we do good um hopefully get a nice pull at least not sure what we're gonna get but this doesn't want to go in there there we go guys um there is the box right there and right, we'll start off we'll just kind of go and rip it out of the box not sure what we're gonna hit, but let's see, guys. I don't know. 
that can go down more. I think that's about as good as it's going to get. Okay, we'll start off with pack number one. Pack was a little heavy. I don't know what's in here? Um, oh, we do have. Oh, we got a hot box, guys. We got a hot box. Oh yeah, see the purple chrome in there? That's what I'm talking about. We got a hot box, guys. Nice. So this box is awesome. I think they're like one per case. So that is awesome. See the purple chrome in there? Oh yeah, nice. We did get a hot box. Start off with a Dominic Fletcher. Um, if you guys are wondering if the um, if you have like a I don't know like a um, variation, it would probably be right above the number right there. So Dominic Fletcher. It's our first card. We have a no. Noel V. Marte, rookie card. That's the design of the card. There's the front and there's the back. I'm not too crazy about the back. I mean, it's just typical um, uh, heritage. There's the front of the card. I do like the color design, so that's nice as well. So, do like the look of this year's compared to last year's. So, Noel V. Marte, rookies right there. We'll do inserts and hits here. Or, yeah, we'll do rookies, ins or not rookies, we'll do rookies, hits, and then inserts over here. So, we have a Stolen Base League Leaders, a Sturry Ryu's, Ronald Acuna Jr., um, Joey Meneses, 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 sorry, Mike Moustakis, Yusai, Yusei Kukuchi, Yusai, Jacob Young, rookie card. There's a Jacob Young. We, I'm so glad we got a hot box, guys. Jack Sawinski, our first purple. It would be nice if it was a Aaron Judge. It is a Nestor Cortez. Nasty Nestor Cortez on the purple. So, not too shabby, guys. That is what a hot box looks like. You get a purple chrome per pack. Those are nice looking. Um, I will definitely sleeve these up. Um... So nice. I think they're like one per case. So that is awesome. We did get a hot box. I have yet to pull a hot box. I only pulled one once before. Um, that was um, out of a blaster. So. Yeah, that was out of a um, blaster. So maybe we can get a nice purple. Yep, this is a hot box. There's another one. Maybe we can get a Ellie De La Cruz purple. That'd be sick as heck. Salvador Perez, Kyle Bradish, Ryder Ryan, rookie card, Austin Riley, Isteri Rius, Bryson Stott. We have a New Age Performers, Aaron Judge. That's the first look at that insert. Well, out of the hobby box. I pulled some out of the uh, other retails I ripped. And Eddie Rosario. Put the inserts here. I'll move these over. So happy to get a hot box, guys. That makes me happy. Nice. And our next purple is Red Sox. Who is it? It is a Jaron Duran. Nice. I'll take that. Jaron Duran. Nothing crazy. It is a short print, actually. So that is nice. Nice short print on the purple uh, parallel. It's 83, I believe. So 1 to 100 are short prints. And after 100, it's your typical base. So happy to get a hot box, guys. That is awesome. Finally got one. I have yet to pull a hot box out of Hobby. So that is awesome. Love if we could pull an auto. That would be super sick to get an auto i might have to go through at the end and check to see if we got anything like as far as um image variation short prints not not short prints but image variation um name variation like color swap that type of thing nolan chanuel no nolan chanuel rookie card brian bellow kevin gossman we have uh 1959 Most Valuable Players. It looks like Nellie Fox, Ernie Banks. That's a cool card there. Carlos Rodon. Elias Diaz. We have a backwards card. It is... 
Jordan Walker. Um, is this a short print? Yes, I believe it's a short print. Usually the short prints, they will, they'll flip them backwards. Um, I know the value packs and the hangers, you have to basically look at the back of the card. I, I think the, um, which I'm going to call it, the hobby and blasters, they flip them over. So that is a short print. It's 96, as you can see there. That's a short print. So put that in the hip pile. And Max Kepler. Oh, we got a Colton Kowser on the purple. Nice. That is a nice hit right there. Colton Kowser on the purple parallel. Purple chrome. That is a sick one right there. That is a good one. Not bad, guys. What a nice hit. We are definitely on the board with that one. A purple Colton Kowser. Um, Curtis Mead is a good rookie to be on lookout for. Colton Kowser. Um, of course, Ellie De La Cruz. Um, I think there's another one. I think Evan Carter is a good one to be on lookout for. Colton Kowser is a good one. This is a nice one right here. A Col Colton Kowser on the purple chrome. That is a sick sick pull right there i will gladly take it these are not numbered but collectors will definitely be after these for sure so that is a nice one right there that is probably grade worthy nice colin kowser on the purple chrome sweet that is a definitely a nice hit i'm gonna have to pull them, or push my um hobby box back a little bit so i can make room for these hits a nice hit right there colin kowser on the purple chrome so far this box is on fire this is a nice box so far so i might put him front and center that is a nice hit guys i'll try to speed this up a little bit um so far definitely definitely an awesome box hot box on top of it a purple colton Kowser. if we could just get an ellie man that would be super sick oh that would be so freaking awesome Love to get an auto, but so far I'm loving this. This is, has been an amazing box. What a huge, huge box so far. Hey, Sion Kim. Um, Austin Meadows, he used to play for the Rays. Parker Meadows, rookie card. Sorry if I move my hand around. Uh, Christian Yelich, you Darvish. We do have a... 1980 Most Valuable Players. Looks like George Brett and Mike Schmidt. We have a Gavin Lux. Drew Rasmussen. I do like the look of these cards. We have a Yankees. Aaron Anthony Rizzo. Okay. Not too shabby. Um, wish it was a Aaron Judge or a um, Jason Dominguez, but that's okay. I'm so happy we got the Colton Kowser. That was a nice pull right there. So happy to get that. Um... That was a nice hit right there. That's probably easily a pretty valuable card right there in itself. Um, so nice to get a hot box. Let's see what they actually look like. And I'll tell you what, these chromes are sick. They are sick looking, especially in person. Yeah, I'm so happy. You know how hard it is to get a hot box? It's pretty rare. Like, it's not an easy, easy, easy thing to do. Um, like I said, there were probably one per case, so so I'll be getting nine. No, I'll be getting a lot of chromes for sure. Yeah, there's one in each pack, so that would be awesome. All right, guys, next pack up. Try to speed things up a little bit. So far, hopefully we're still looking. Oh, there we go. Ellie De La Cruz, start things off. Nice. Too bad that wasn't in the chrome. Definitely get him sleeved up. Too bad he wasn't in the chrome. That would be super, super sick. Pulling that in the purple chrome. Oh, that would be so sick. But I'm happy with an L.A. Day of a Cruise base. I will take it. Um, don't think it's an image variation. The other one has, nope, just his base. The other one has him, I think, running around, or he's running his chains kind of dangling. So this is just his base. Um, I'll put Ellie up on the stand. So, so far... I'm loving this product. It has been good to me. So shout out to my wife. She is freaking awesome. I love you, wife. Thank you for picking an awesome box. She actually got it on tops.com. So in case you guys are wondering, that's where she got it from. So um, that's where she picked it up at, or she pre-ordered it from tops.com. So 
there's that. We'll get the Ellie de la Cruz up here. And crap, I might have to um, move these at some point because I don't know how I'm going to reach around and get the packs. I might have to put these front and center. There we go. I'm going to have to do it like this. I'll try to not take too long. All right, guys, we'll move along. We got a 1997 Most Valuable Player, uh, King Grippy Jr., and Larry Walker. Nice. We got another one, 1957 Most Valuable Player, Mickey Mantle and Hank Aaron. We did get a Oswaldo Cabrera. We have an Owen White rookie card. We have a Patrick Wisdom. We have a Seaver. Is it Tom Seaver's 2000 career strikeout? I believe it's, yep, Tom Seaver. I think that's an insert, yep. As an insert, Shane McClanahan, and our purple is an Orioles. It is a Ryan Mountcastle. Okay. Um, on the purple, I'll take it. Try to speed things up for you guys. Um, so far, not bad. Like uh, this has definitely been a good box. All we need to do is get an auto or an Ellie De La Cruz parallel, and this would be a freaking amazing, amazing box. It already is. I'm so happy that I was actually be able to show you guys what a hot box is like. They like said you get one purple per pack, and these chromes are sick looking in person. So I can't wait to you guys get your chance, or get your um, hot box, or not hot box, but possibly you guys can get a hot box. I can't wait for you guys to get your hobby box so you can see what you guys do, and how well you guys let me know how you guys did on your box. Let's see what our purple. I'd love to pull an Ellie in the purple. That'd be sick. Tony Gun Gonsolin. Curtis Mead rookie card. There's a nice one there. I think we I don't know. I thought we had our hit, but there's a Curtis Mead rookie. I will take that. Um put him there. Brendan Donovan. Christian Encarnacion Strand. There's a nice rookie there. We do have a 2023 Most Valuable Players. Looks like Shohei Otani and Ronald Acuna Jr. It's a nice one there. Alika Williams. Alika, Alika Williams rookie card. We do have a backwards card. It is a short print. Alex Cobb. There's a short print right there. I'll get it. DJ Lem Lemayu. Our purple is a Braves. It is a Ozzy Albies. That's what the purple crumbs look like. They're awesome. So, yeah, like I said, hot box are probably one per case. Like they're they're hard to get. Like I'm so happy to get one. I got a Colton Cowser purple. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. One thing to make this better, like I said, is we hit an auto or an Ellie parallel. That would be super awesome. Um, so we did get a Curtis Mead. So far, so good. Okay, guys. I will get these other guys top loaded and sleeved in the future. All right, next row, guys. We'll get into the next row. Second row, I should say. First pack. Still look, looking for our auto or relic. I've yet to come across that. Um, oh, something going on here. I don't know. Um, yep, we got our hit here. Looks like a clubhouse relic. Save that guy for last. So I think we did get a relic in that pack. So, fortunately, no auto. You never know, guys. Hey, you never know. We do have a 2013 Most Valuable Players. Um... Miguel Cabrera and Andrew McCutcheon, JT Real Muto, the Phillies catcher, Tommy Edmond, we have a Taylor Ward, Dansby Swanson, Johan Avito, we have a New Age Performers, Mookie Betts, get that separate here in a sec, Alexander Bogarts, and our purple is a Nick Gonzalez, that's a nice one there, a rookie parallel. I'll get him sleeved up. I'm glad we're getting some rookies. I have noticed some people 
when they get a hot box, some of their purples aren't very good. They're not getting a lot of good names or big time names. They're getting a lot of base um, purples. So I'm glad we got the um, glad I got the Colton Kowser and the um, other rookie Nick Gonzalez. It's good to get some rookies in the uh, parallels. So we're in the second stack. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get an auto, but hey, we got a hot box. So I don't know. Maybe our relic will still be good. We'll see, guys. Still an amazing box. We did get a Colton Kowser purple, so I'm happy with that. Can't beat that. Okay, so I'll put this over here in the hip pile. Um, actually, I might. I can put them up on this now. We'll put them off to the side in the hip pile. Um, okay, next pack up, guys. So let me know what you guys think down below of Heritage this year. So far, like I said, I'm loving it. Um, I'm not filling the um, retail yet, like because I haven't done very well. Um, but hobby definitely so far is the way to go so far in this product. I can tell them when when I picked up the box, it felt kind of heavy, so I knew we had something good. Gavin Williams rookie card, kind of speed it up here now. Uh, we do have a 20, 2006 Most Valuable Players. It looks like, uh, trying to read that name. It's hard to read it. Um, it's hard to read their names. Oh, I can't really read it. Justin Moreno and Ryan Howard. Stephen Kwan. Vaughn Grissom. Baxton Garrett. Weston Wilson, rookie card. We have a short print of... Austin Hayes, okay, AJ Puck, and our purple is a Rangers of Owen White rookie card. There's a good one, good rookie. Nice to get that. I'll sleeve that. So, yeah, we got three rookies in the purple, so not too shabby, guys. This has been a huge box, been pretty darn good. Can't thank my wife enough. I love her so much. She did an amazing amazing thing for her hubby that was so nice of her to pre-order this box like i said you can get them on tops.com um so all right guys next pack up let's see what we can do out of this i don't know if i'll get many hangers or values i still might get some more but i don't know as of right now i might kind of lay low cj crown or crown or is it crown um Tyler Wells, Henry Davis, there's another good rookie there. Put him in the hip pile. Blake Sabol, Colin Kowser, there we go. Got his rookie, put him in the hip pile. Riley Green, nice. We do have a white border, Astros. These are, I think, one in every, I don't know what. They're they're not common, so the, I don't know. Me, it's, I don't want to give an exact number, but this is a white border of Dusty Baker. Okay, we got the manager. Um, so AJ Smith Shalver rookie card in her purple is a raise. It is a Shane McClanahan. Nice. So for my PC, I like the raise and the reds. So that was a nice pull there. I will gladly take that nice PC hit. I said, I like the rays and the reds. Those are my two favorite teams. Um, rays always have a special place from place in my heart. I love that team. I started liking baseball because of the Rays. My wife's a huge Rosa Reina fan. Um, so, um, I like a Rosa Reina too. So, that was nice to get a Rays. So, very cool. I will sleeve that up. Let me get the Dusty Baker top loaded and sleeved. Yeah, I'm not sure how rare those uh, white borders are, but I know they're pretty hard to hit. You don't really hit those as often as you think you would um so they are a pretty tough pull not a super tough pull but they are harder to get than you think um i don't know how many like i said i don't know how many the odds are the packs um you guys can look it up on your own time but i know they're not a super easy pull but i don't want don't quote me but i don't know if it's like one in six pack one or eight packs you can look up on tops.com but i know they are definitely a definitely a pull 
to collect. Definitely a hit to collect. So not a bad box, guys. This has been pretty fun. I'm really enjoying this. All right, guys, next pack up. We still have two more rows. Still got a lot more purples to get into. I love to pull an Ellie purple. Oh, my gosh. Can you guys imagine if that was a... Oh, nice. I do see a good player on the back here. Nice. Julio Pablo Martinez, rookie card. Nolan Jones, gold cup. Eloy Jimenez, Jordan Adams, rookie card. Trevor Larnich, Ab Abner Uribe. We have a then and now. Mike Schmidt and Shohei Otani in his Dodgers uniform. That's nice there. It's a nice one. Kyle Tucker, and we have a Velope on the purple. So that's nice there. It's a nice name right there to get. This is, box has been fire. So awesome, guys. Now, we got a Velope purple. Nice Velope purple. I will take it. Hope you guys are enjoying this video. Sorry, there was something on the corner. I had to get it off. Okay. Something on the corner looked like a piece of part of the card. Um, well, you can top load the little bay. That's a good name to get. Man, I just want an Ellie. Just an Ellie purple. Come on. That would be super awesome to get an Ellie. Come on. Okay, guys. Keep going. Try to speed things up. Okay, get to the next pack, guys. Man, you can just get an auto, man, guys. Oh, that would be awesome. An auto and a relic out of the same box. Wow. Ryan Weathers. Alan Winans, Winans rookie card, Charlie Blackman, that's a crazy ass looking beard, uh, Whitey Herzog, we have a backwards card here guys, Bobby Witt Jr., that's a nice card of Bobby Witt, Marco Luciano, that's a nice rookie there, have a backwards, a short print of Stuart Fairchild, nice, so I'm a Reds fan, so that's a nice one there, nice short print, Stuart Fairchild. I will take that. Fortunately, it's not anything crazy. Lamont Wade Jr. And our purple is a Ronald Acuna Jr. That's a nice one there. I like the NL All-Star Outfield. That's a nice looking card there. Ronald Acuna Jr. Fortunately, the corner looks a little dinged up, but it's okay. I guess I can send it away and get that fixed up. Um, I will definitely top load it. And Actually, I might just sleeve it for now. Um, so I want to get that in better shape. The corner looks pretty dinged up, but it's okay. I can send that away. So we'll put that here. Um, put them on top for now. Okay. Get this then and now. I think it's in the right spot. Okay, guys. Next, we're in this third row. Sorry if this video is kind of long. But since this is the only hobby box I might get for a while. Marcus Simeon, start things off, Yanir Cano, Gold Cup, Hunter Goodman, Rookie Card, Christopher Morel, Francisco Alvarez, there's a nice card there, Lars Newt Bar, we do have a black border, nice. Jose Rodriguez, that's a nice one. I'll take that. It's a black border. Craig Craig Kimbrell. And we have a Jason Dominguez. Nice. Wow. What a box, guys. Holy crap, guys. Nice. So this is a black border. Yeah, these are very hard to pull. So we got a black border and a Jason Dominguez on the purple. Man, guys, this has been an awesome box. Wow, what a killer box, guys. We did get a black border. Those are a nice pull, and it's a rookie. So, can't complain there. 
It's our first look at our black border. In case you guys are wondering, it's all black. You can see that's a nice color match too with the white socks. Yeah, that is super sick looking. Nice. And we got a Jason Dominguez on the purple. Man, we were just killing it. Fitting all the good rookies too. Um, yeah, nice. Wow, this has been awesome, guys. Some killer hits. Okay, let's get that Jason Dominguez, and we'll keep this, this ball rolling. Okay, guys, that's a nice Jason Dominguez on the purple. Um, corner looks a little dinged. I might have to send him away, fortunately, but that's still a nice purple there. Might put him at the top, too, but it's all right. Might have to send him out. Um... Unfortunately, the corner looks a little ding, but that's okay. Let's see what we can get out of this pack. Sometimes that happens. Uh, Joey Estes, Joey Estes, Videl Brujan, Michael Conforto. I'm going to have to move something here, guys. Sorry, the piles got a little crazy. Michael Conforto, Edgar Navarro, rookie card. Edgar Navarro, rookie card. Reese Hoskins. I keep thinking that's an auto, but it's not. It fools you because it does look like an auto, but it is not. We have a Spencer Steer. He's been having a heck of a season this year for the Reds. And we have a Raphael Devers on the um, New Age Performers. We have a Jake Berger. Our purple is a Guardians. It is Jose Tena. Jose, is it Tina? Tena? I think it's Tena. Rookie card on the purple. We're getting a lot of rookies, so I'm happy about that. Very, very happy. Okay, guys, still waiting for our last, still waiting for our, um, open up the uh, relic pack, so, God, let me save him real quick. I know this box, or this video is a little bit longer, I apologize, guys, I'll try to speed it up now, just a little bit. Okay, fortunately I have two I'm going to send back into tops, but overall, it's been really, really good box. Um, oh, sorry about the camera bump, guys. Um, put the rookies over here. Let's put the hits here, I guess. I guess we can have this going. So we kind of have, we have the sleeved hits and then the non-sleeved hits. So there we go, guys. Let's get into the next pack. We have two packs out of the third stack. Brian Wu, rookie card. Francisco Lindor, Ryan Mountcastle, Starling Marte, Nick Gonzalez, rookie card, Kyron Paris, rookie card. We have a backwards card. It is Brandon Drury. Okay. It's a short print. It's a short print. Brandon Drury, short print. Um, okay, we'll set that there. Joe Kelly, and we have an Angels... Reed Detmers on the purple. Purple chrome. Hmm. Not a bad purple there, guys. We'll take that. Okay, guys. Almost into our last stack. Okay, guys. Oh, I bumped Ellie. I'm glad we at least got an Ellie. Um, uh, Ellie base. Hopefully, dig. Hopefully, we got a parallel of Ellie, but fortunately, we did not. At least, not yet. 
Okay, guys, last pack out of the... Oh, no, we do. Oh, crap, we have three packs left out of the third stack. So, well, let's keep this going. So, quite a bit more packs left to go. All right, come on, let's get an Ellie Purple. Nice, and Evan Carter. It's a nice rookie there. Start things off. We have a Frank Thomas, the Big Hurt, and Jeff Bagwell on the 1994 Most Valuable Players, Nico Horner, Davis Schneider, rookie card. We have a World Series um, card, Texas 3, Arizona 1, Andy Rodriguez, rookie card. We have another white border, nice, Max Scherzer. It's a nice one. Kyle Gibson. And our purple is Padres, Manny Machado. Okay, I'll take it. So we got two to sleeve up here. Man, yeah, these white borders are not easy pulls. So we got another one. Wish it was a Ellie, but it's okay. This box has been nothing but awesome, guys. Hope you guys are enjoying Heritage as well. Let me know what you guys have pulled down below in the comment section. Um, let me know how well you guys did. If you guys picked up a hobby box, let me know what your biggest pulls are if you got a hot box um you get this mini machado and then we'll continue this box i love the fact that heritage does that they give you a chance to get a bunch of parallels which it makes the set desirable and collectible and it just kind of keeps people excited about it the product like hey i could get a hot box you know that's awesome you know that they do that not too many um, products do that, so you know I do appreciate that Tops does do that. Gives you a chance to get a hot box. So kudos to Tops for doing things like this. Makes the hobby collectible and fun for all ages, and it's just it's very cool to get these chromes. Wait until you see them in person; they are awesome. You guys will absolutely. If you get a hot box, you absolutely love it. They are awesome cards. Okay, guys, so put these back. We'll get into the next two, last two packs out of room number three. Try not to look. I think I've seen it. George Springer, Josh Naylor, Clayton Kershaw. Labor Torres, Zach Nito, Zach Geloff. That's a nice rookie there. We have a news flashback, Apollo Soyuz, test projector Apollo, and Soviet Soyuz spacecraft dock in orbit. Nick Castellanos, and our purple is a CJ Abrams. There's a good one there. We're in the last pack on the third stack, and we're in our last stack, guys, and we will get into the relic hit. Hopefully, it's a nice relic. It'd be nice if it was. It'd be cool if it was an auto relic. That would be super sick. Yep, that would be amazing. I don't think I've ever pulled a dual relic or an auto relic. I don't think most I've ever pulled out of relics was just a basic relic, which it's okay. It's very hard to hit stuff out of Heritage, just knowing that going... I mean, know that before you go into this product. Um, it's super hard to hit, get hits, but when you do get hits, they're amazing. They really pay off, and it it's amazing, yeah. It's definitely worth it, for sure. All right, guys, last pack out of stack number three. Let's see what we can get. Max Fried. Palender Baroa, rookie card. Got a lot of rookies. We have a 2019 Most Valuable Player, Mike Trout and Cody Bellinger. D.L. Hall. Josh Young, that's a nice one there. We have a backwards card. Kyle Edward Finnegan. Oh, wait, before that. Oh, nice. We did get a Cattell Marte on the Chrome. Number to 999, 54 out of 999. So that's our first number card. Cattell Marte. I totally missed that, guys. Number 10. That's what the chromes look like, guys. Super sick looking cards. Those are nice. Wow. Yeah, that was awesome. At least we got a number card. 
I'm definitely going to get another hobby box in the future. Probably I'll get one around Independence Day, um, 4th of July, because I did that last year. So I figured I'd do it again this year. Um, in case you're wondering, the number is up there in the corner. It's hard to read. So 54 out of 9.99. Nice chrome. So that's our first number card we hit in this rip. Hey, I'll take it. I'm not complaining one bit. A number card, a hot box, a relic. Yeah, huge um, purple parallel on a rookie. I mean, yeah, you can't ask much more than that. We hit an Ellie. So yeah, this has been amazing. We have a short print of, oh nice, it is a red, oh my gosh, oh man, I wish that was Ellie. Kyle Edward um, Finnegan, short print. Kyle Finnegan, short print. Austin Wells, oh, I wish this was an Ellie. It's a Reds. Nope, it is a Joey Votto. I'll take it. I'm a Reds fan, so too bad it wasn't an Ellie, but I'll take a Joey Votto on the purple. Very cool. I said I'm a Reds fan. Unfortunately, he plays for the Blue Jays now, but hey, I'll take it. Not complaining. Nice Joey Votto in the purple. You do get a lot of purples in this, in case you're wondering. I know this video is a little bit longer, but like I said, I'm really enjoying this. We're on our last stack, guys. I'll have to straighten these up here in a sec. Give me one sec, guys. And I will be with you here momentarily. Um, Okay, guys. Um, I think we're in our last stack, guys. Let me get these uh, cards. Um, Situated real quick. Wow, these got a little out of hand. I apologize, guys. Okay, I think we're good now. Okay, we are definitely good. Okay, let's get into the last stack. And we got our hit card. Or let's see what that is going to be. Um, okay, guys. Get these in. Sorry, I got a couple of stacks going on here, so I apologize. In case you're wondering. All right, guys, last stack. Let's hurry up and get these done. Oh man, I see a nice purple coming. Oh, Julio, start things off. Hint, hint. I think it's the front front of the. It was the front player that the purple is. In case you guys are wondering, if you've seen that first player, that's who the purple is. Jordan Alvarez, Jackson Wolf, rookie card. Jose Ramirez, Dalton Varsho, Mike Yastrzemski, Jose Ferrer, rookie card. O'Neill Cruz. And it is a Julio Rodriguez on the purple. Nice. What a nice hit there. Man. Mm. This box has been awesome. Wow. What a box, guys. Wow. It's been hit after hit. The Ellie's the glare. I apologize. He got kind of bumped. There we go. Let's get this. Um, Julio sleeved up. Okay, guys, we're in the last stack, and then we got our hit of the box. Um, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, smash that thumbs up, comment down below what you guys think of this rip. Um, if you guys liked it, let me know. Post your um, comments down below. I'll tell you what, this is probably the best heritage box I have ever ripped so far. I think it has been the best so far that I've ripped out of my whole time ripping cards. I don't think I've had this many hits in one box, I don't think. We have a Daniel Palencia. Palencia. 
rookie card. I almost put it in the wrong stack. Uh, Rangers win first World Series. World Series card. Gray Kessinger, rookie card. We do have a 2022 Most Valuable Players. Looks like Aaron Judge, Paul Goldschmidt. Um, we have a 2023 World Series card. Texas 5, Arizona 0. We have a Joey Votto base. Paul Goldschmidt, New Age Performers. Alex Call. And our purple is a Luis Arreyes. Let me purple. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Let's get into the next. Some more packs here, real quick. Try to speed this up, guys. I don't have any more left. Sorry about this video. I'm trying to not keep you guys here as long as I have to, but I'm trying to hurry. Aaron Judge, that's a nice one there. Cindy Alcantara. Luis Reyes, there we go. Emmanuel Classe. Forrest Wall rookie card. We have a earned run average leaders. Garrett Cole, Blake Snell. We have a short print of Bailey Falter, Dylan Carlson, and we have a Reds. It is a Matt McLean. That's a nice one. Nice Matt McLean. Gold Cup purple. I'll take it. Nice. Very nice. It's a nice Matt McLean purple. I'll take that. I'm going to take that parallel. Nice hit there. He's a good player for the Reds. So, very nice hit there. Okay. Um, let me get this in the pile. Get that Joey Votto in there as well. Back here, because like I said, I'm a Reds and Rays fan. So, um, okay, guys. All right, we should be good now. Um, I have the two in front because I need to send those back. They got a little dinged up, but it's okay. Guys, we have a few more packs left. Come on. Let's, let's end with a bang. Cade Marlowe, rookie card. Matt Olson. Bryce Elder. Weiler Abreu, rookie card. Let's put him in the wrong spot. Key Brian Hayes. Ronald Acuna Jr. That's a nice looking card. I do like the colors, like the colors they use for the cards. Those are nice. Um, Alec Manoa. Liam Hendricks. Purple is an Orioles. It is a Kyle Gibson. That's interesting. Unless he switched over. It's very interesting. Is it a... Sh nope. It's very interesting. Yeah, he's got his Cardinals outfit on, but he's... That's interesting. I wonder if that is a misprint. Orioles? Maybe? I don't know. Did he play? Oh, man. That's interesting. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to look into that. That's interesting. He's got St. Louis Cardinals uniform, but it says Orioles at the top. So I don't know what that is, unless he... Usually Heritage is really good about, you know, keeping up to date on the current team that the players are on. So that's why I'm kind of wondering why he's got a St. Louis outfit on, and it says Orioles at the top. Like I said, Heritage is supposed to be really good about keeping players up to date with their current teams like they have Juan Soto and his Yankees and they have um 
Shohei Otani and his Dodgers. That's why I'm wondering why this is, yeah, not up to date. It's kind of strange, but I guess we'll figure. I guess I can do more research on it, but okay, guys. Um, a few more packs, and we have our relic hit. We have two more packs, and then the relic hit. Oh man, it'd be nice if we could get an auto. I don't mind relics, but I prefer an auto. Vinny Pasquantino, Coco Montez, rookie card, William Contreras, Hagen Danner, rookie card, Samad Taylor, rookie card, Corbin Carroll, that's a nice card there, New H Performers, Zach Granke, Carlos Estevez, that purple is a Cardinals, it is a Jordan Walker, that's a nice one there, good one. Good name to get, Jordan Walker. It is a short print too. It's 96, I believe. Yep, that is a short print. Right, guys, I believe we have one more pack and then our relic hit. Wow, so many hits, guys. Obviously the purples, of course, but so many pulls we've got. I wish we, like I said, I wish, I wish, I wish we had a Ellie purple. That would have been awesome to hit his purple. Purple parallel, man. Yes, it would have. That would have looked super, super sick. But we did get some really good names in Fort. I can't complain there. We got some really good names. Other than Ellie um, Base, we got a Jason Dominguez purple. Colton Kowser purple, of course. That was a big name right there to get. Um, yeah, so definitely, definitely did good on the um, purple names. I've seen some people hit hot boxes and they've... Haven't had very good names on the polls compared to other people. All right, guys. Last pack, and then we have the relic hit. All right, guys. Wish me luck. We have the... Oh, there we go. Um, I take that back. There's Shohei in his Angels outfit, but I think... I want to say he has it in his Dodgers. Home run leaders, Shohei, Matt Olson, CJ Abrams, Kyle Stowers, Manny Machado... Charlie Morton, Sedane Rafaela. We have a short print of Chris Stratton. Short print of Chris Stratton. John Gray. And our last purple. Well, we have one more. It is a Tyler Soderstrom. That's a nice rookie right there. It's a nice purple. I'll take that. Tyler Soderstrom. So definitely got some good brookies in the purple, that's for sure. Like I said, the only one I wish I would have got was an Ellie. But other than that, I'm super, super stoked. I can't complain. This box has been amazing. Definitely get you guys some heritage. It is fire right now. Definitely an awesome product. Hobby boxes, I would have to give them a 9 out of 10. They've been nothing but solid. This has been a solid rip. Probably one of my better rips I've had as far as um, heritage goes. Okay, I will do the last pack and then we'll do a recap. And yeah, I'll give you my final review on it. We have a Pete Crow Armstrong rookie card. Quinn Priester. Rookie card, 1971 Most Valuable Players. Um, it's hard to read the names. Joe Torre, Vita Blue. Alex Spia's rookie card. We do have a 20, 2014 Most Valuable Players. It's like Mike Trout and Clayton Kershaw. Let's see who our clubhouse rather the relic is. Let's see who it is. Oh, it's a Reds. It is a Jonathan India. Oh, nice. A bat relic. Nice. I'll take it. Very cool. It's a bat relic. So, like I said, I'm a Reds fan. So go Reds. Very awesome. Jonathan India. Hey, I'm not complaining. A Reds bat relic. Our last purple is a. Oh, we got another card. Um, Jack Flaherty 
and our purple is a Felix Bautista. So no auto in this box, but yeah, this, I can't complain. This has been an awesome box. I probably won't get another one until July, so that will suffice until then. But overall, this box has been amazing. Hope you guys enjoyed this rip. Hope that give you, gave you some insight on the hobby boxes. Like I said, you're not guaranteed to get a hot box in every one. Like I said, they're probably one per case or one. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, like I said, they're super hard to get a um, hot box. But they are, they are definitely possible. Um, Fortunately, no Ellie parallel, but that's okay. Um, it's all right. I don't think this India was numbered. It was not numbered. It just says, congratulations, you have just received a Clubhouse Collection Relic Card. Jonathan India, second baseman. Um, so a nice bat relic. I'd rather have a bat relic than a um, actual jersey patch. I do like the, relic, or the bat relics better. Those are nice looking. That's a nice looking card, too. Nice um, pitcher of Jonathan India. Kind of the pose and the relic kind of down in the corner. So it's a nice card. I'm very happy with it. Very happy with this box. Super, super stoked. Let's go over our hits and, and we'll see how we did. Um, we did get one number card, which was it. But yeah, I'm not complaining at all, like I said. This has been amazing. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this rip. Um, we'll start off with our rookie stack. Huge, huge stack of rookies. Um, a whole a ton of rookies. So if you're out to collect a set, Hobby Box is a way to go. Um, there's our stack of rookies. You can see there's a ton of rookies. I'm not going to go through all of them. It just gives you an idea. I like the colors, all the different colors. That's pretty cool. I like the design this year. Um, there's the those here's some of our inserts um got a news flashback some new age performers got one then and now shohei and mike schmidt there's a baseball flashbacks there's some more new age performers it should have been up here but it's okay um so yeah we had a news flashback aaron judge mookie betts zach grinke paul goldschmidt Raphael devers then and now and a Tom Seaver baseball flashbacks. So there's that. Some of our better than average pulls. There's some short prints. Um, right here. There's another short print, another short print. These are all short prints, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. Yep, these are all short prints. So that's pretty cool. Um, got some good key rookies. Curtis Mead, Evan Carter, Colton Kowser. Um, Henry Davis, there was another short print. I think that should have been up front. We did get our box topper, which was a 1975 Tom Bradley. You can see a stamp down there. That's pretty cool. Um, some of our decent uh, purples. I should have sleeved these up with the other ones, but Jaron Duran, N Nasty Nestor Cortez, Anthony Rizzo, Ryan Mountcastle, Ozzy Albies. Um, I will definitely top load these um, in the future. Uh, let's see, some of our better pulls are right here. Um, let me get these out of the way. And let me get these situated um, real quick. Uh, give me one sec, guys. Uh, da -da -da -da. Give me one sec. And I'll be with you guys. Put that there. Put this here and put this here. Okay, here we go. Some of our better um, purples, these I'm going to send back to tops. They got little messed up corners. Jason Dominguez, Ronald Acuna Jr., Felix Bautista, Jordan Walker, Luis Arreyes, CJ Abrams, Manny Machado. Yeah, we got a ton of purples. Owen White, Jose Tena, Nick Gonzalez, rookie, Tyler Soderstrom. Shane McClanahan from my PC. It's a nice purple there. Anthony Vlope, purple. Joey Votto, I like the reds. Mac McLean, it's a nice purple there on the gold cup. Um, some of the better, better purple ones, the ones that are really good. Julio Rodriguez, Colin Kowser, that's a big one right there. 
other than the Ellie, that's a big name to get. Um, we did get Ellie De La Cruz's rookie card, so that's nice. We did get a couple whites, Dusty Baker and Max Scherzer on the white border. We did get one black border. That's a nice um, color match, color scheme match. Uh, Jose Rodriguez on the black border. We did get one number card in 999, the chrome. Those are sick looking. Cattell Marte. As you can see the chrome. It's very sharp looking. The card kind of pops. And we our relic and hit of the box was a Jonathan India bat relic. It's not numbered, but hey. Wow, what a box, guys. I cannot complain. I am super stoked. I give hobbies a 9 out of 10. That was amazing, guys. Uh, just because I hit a hobby, I mean a hot box, that's why I got a 9 out of 10. But I think overall, I was still would have gave it an 8. I think that hot box kind of bumped it up. But if it was in a hot box, still would have gave it an 8 out of 10. Great product. Like I said, I got a lot of key rookies. That bat relic made it pretty sweet. I love it. I prefer the bat relic over the, you know, the game patch relic. I mean, it's still nice, but I, I just like the bat relic. Something just fascinates me about that. A lot of key rookies. We only got one number card. Still a fun rip. I mean, other than that, hope you guys enjoy this video. Get you some heritage. Hope you guys have fun with it. Good luck. As always, be safe. Have fun collecting. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.